So I'm going to take you through the profiles of each of the cardinals who will be in the Electoral College after this August's consistory. Uh, the Electoral College who will elect the next Pope consists of cardinals who have not reached the age of 80. So it'll be interesting time. Maybe one of these cardinals will be the next Pope. Maybe there will be another consistory in the future. We don't know. Um, but I suppose it's very interesting now to become familiar with these men who will be the next Pope. Anyway, enjoy this. God bless. Take care. Please like and share this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. Bye bye. So we're now going to look at the profile of Cardinal uh, Chibli Langua. Um, and he is Bishop of uh, Le Calles in Haiti. He is number 18 on the list of Cardinals we've talked about so far. And he is 63, created Cardinal in 2014. And from what I believe, he's a very holy man. Um, he was born on the 29th of November 1958 in Le Valais in the Diocese of Jacmel. He completed his primary studies at the Christian Brothers School in Le Valais and his secondary education at the Petit Seminaire Collège saint martil in Port-au-Prince. In 1985, he entered the Grand Seminaire Notre-Dame at Port-au-Prince, where he took uh, courses in philosophy and theology, obtained a BA in theology. He was ordained a priest on the 22nd of November 1991, and from 1994 to 1996, he studied at the Pontifical Lateran University in Rome, where he obtained a licentiate in pastoral theology with a dissertation of the new evangelization works of enculturation in Haiti. Following ordination, he served as vicar of the Cathedral of Jacmel in 1991 to 1994 and director of pastoral uh, catechetic diocesan services 93 to 95. Uh, since 1996, he has held the role as director of the Austin Center for Pastoral and Catechetic Formation. Since 1997, he has served as a priest of the parish shrine of Mary Immaculate in the locality of the De, Des Oranges in Jacmel, and professor for pastoral theology at the Great Seminary of Notre Dame, Port-au-Prince. Since 2000, he has also held the role. Uh, uh, of Professor for the Austin Institute of Education and Human Promotion in Jackman. Appointed Bishop for Fort Liberté on the 8th of April 2004, he was ordained the following 6th of June. When his homeland was struck by an earthquake in 2010, he became a leader in rebuilding efforts and providing spiritual support. On August 15th of August 2011, he was appointed Bishop of Les Cayes by His Holiness Pope for, um, Benedict the 16th. Since December 2011, he has served as president for the Episcopal Conference of Haiti. He participated in the, the third extraordinary General Assembly for Bishops in 2014 on the pastoral challenges of the family in the context of evangelization. He was created Cardinal by Pope Francis in the consistory of the 22nd of February 2014 with the title of San Giacomo in Augusta. And he is member of the Dicastery of Formation. So that's the profile we see here on his Vatican page. On his Facebook, on the, sorry, on the Wikipedia page, it's pretty much the same. And there is absolutely um, very, very little difference here. Uh, even less information. Um, what they didn't notice in the in the Vatican was that he was actually injured in the 2021 Haiti uh, earthquake. He was a bishop at the bishop's residence when it was partially collapsed during the earthquake. He survived, but a priest and two employees were killed. So uh, on the 8th of June 2020, he suffered uh, a heavy car accident. So very holy man from what i believe very very sad to hear about him his accident last year and the car crash this year he speaks uh, excellent french and italian and english but he's never held a position in rome a uh, very very holy man from what i believe people from what from what i've gathered there's a uh, not a chance that you could uh, say otherwise and he's had a 
uh, uh, you know he's been a very good example uh how will he vote in the next conclave i i don't know so i'm going to put a question mark here i don't know um but um pray for him and uh hopefully he's not sustained very uh he's not sustained too many injuries in that car crash he doubtfully would ever be elected pope so that's uh, the profile of Cardinal Chibli Langlois. Um, and I, I'm sorry if I've got his name wrong. God bless. Take care. Bye bye.